I would like, if I may, to take you on a strange journey. Hey guys, how you doing? It is uh, January 1st, New Year's Day, 2020. You have to excuse the old gopher. I've been out of here for uh, quite a few hours doing some welding and uh, hooking up some things and making some things and modifying most everything. But uh, we've been out working on the gopher and uh, this is what we've been doing. We have the carry-all for the back. This was a carry-all that actually goes on an ATV and uh, we modified it by getting an adapter to change uh, the hitch over from an ATV flat hitch into a receiver hitch and then we added we bent these bars welded end caps on the bars for spacers went into the frame this is an aluminum rail that runs the runs the length of the gopher that bolts into the only top part of the subframe the bottom part of the subframe is not really all that strong. The hitch is drawn up into the transmission mount, so it'll pull a lot of weight, but it won't carry a lot of weight. So we put these struts on each side of this to uh, help stabilize it. It does stick out quite far. I am just minimally in the legal limit without having to put lights on it, but I am going to put lights on it anyway. I'm going to take and uh, come off the uh, trailer hitch, uh, plug in, and come back and put some LED lights on the back and this is primarily to haul my scooter to close events instead of trying to pack it in there or put it in the cab with me my little three-wheel triax i can set back here actually i can put three of them side by side back here the way i've got it and uh it holds uh, the capacity is 300 pounds uh i'm about 345 <laughs> Uh, I know everybody's gonna go so you say no, but let me tell you something. I'm I'm it's all packed in tight here, buddy <laughs> But uh, I stood on the back of it uh, Clear to the back with all this leverage and everything and the front wheel of the gopher came completely off the ground Dad fell out laughing himself. I thought he was gonna pee but uh, So that's what we've been doing. I think we're gonna take a little test. Oh the the bottom parts that are sticking out um, I haven't cut any of that excess off yet because I want to uh, see how much of an adjustment I really need and I want to leave myself just enough adjustment to lower it or, or bring it up to level it depending on how the gopher rides when it's loaded. So for now they're not going to drag the ground or anything. <laughs> I hope. For, for now I'm going to leave them on there and then I cut them off, uh, cut them off later and see. So, Well we're going to take a ride. It will actually be the first ride of the new year and we're just going to go around the lake and try this out and see how it handles. Um, it's empty but I just want to see. So. Let's get in. Let's get to uh, take a ride. First one. So it is uh, getting kind of warm. It was very, very, very chilly this morning, but it is getting kind of warm. So I got all these extra clothes and insulated coveralls on and everything, and it's uh, it's a little warm. So I got the doors open, but I like riding no matter what weather with the doors open as long as it's not pouring rain. I can tell, and I, I know it's only maybe 50 pounds back there, but it's sticking out so far. I can tell when I turn corners and stuff that there is a little bit more uh, slung weight back there. But I'm pretty much used to that for all the Volkswagens that we built. And uh, we put V6s, straight fours, V6s in Volkswagens. For off-road racing and uh, you uh, you get to learn how to drive a little bit differently uh, three-wheelers three-wheelers you'll got to learn to drive they are not the same as motorcycles they're not the same as sidecars sidecar is another animal that's that's an awesome ride if you've never <laughs> ridden a sidecar or ridden in a sidecar when somebody that knew what they were doing how they how they could drive it uh, that is a treat and a half uh, I love them uh, make that you make that right turn it's one way you make that left turn it's a whole nother animal <laughs> but uh, yeah she seems to be good it's not rattling and bouncing because uh, the adapter is a little loose it has two pins and it. it has four and a half inch extension that I would really prefer not to have but ah, we got to deal with what we got to deal with didn't put my tools back the way they should have been in the 
in the back and I can hear them rattling. But hey, I just wanted to check it out before I put everything up and had to get it all back out again. That that up and down thing's what kills me now is uh, my hands, the grips and stuff. I can't really do that, but if I've got to get up and down and up and down, I, it, I might as well just quit, not even start because if I don't have somebody there to hand me the tools or to pick stuff up or to <laughs> basically pick me up when I get down there underneath something. Once I'm down there, I'm good as long as I can get my fingers to work, but... But, uh... It's uh, getting up and down. That's why every time I watch, uh, watch a lot of the guys on YouTube, especially like Matthew Charrington, knowing the condition he's in... Matt, when you get down and you're working kneeling and all that stuff, I know it's absolutely got to be murder with all that robo parts you got in you and all that other stuff i know it's got to be murder brother you're a better man than me i just could not do it but i know determination dedication and just sheer anger sometimes <laughs> will get us through a lot i know that one for a fact well yeah i like the way she's riding i can feel it so uh like i said mainly it's for the scooter for the triax Hey, I didn't drag on those, uh, the adjuster rod sticking down. I didn't drag on the speed bump. That's good. Uh, mostly for the triax to haul around uh, and stuff like that to the close shows. But uh, I'm going to start moving a lot of computers too with it. Uh, computers, computers are about the old computers I have. The computers nowadays are not this way. Uh, towers, the old towers I have are somewhere between 35 and 55 pounds just the computer towers the old computer tower servers uh, base stations and stuff um, yeah they were they were built out of some steel back then instead of all this uh, magnesium alloy whatever 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 and uh, plastic and uh, they were all steel and uh, they can get to be quite heavy so if I get like four of them on there I'm probably I'm probably pushing the pushing a good weight limit now when I go down the highway and make a corner and I got to watch the wind because she's she's a wind, big windy sail anyway sailing the wind yeah sailing the wind anyway uh, I'll have to watch that because once I get it weighted that'll start that pitch even more and if you've ever seen a rear engine car start to lose control like the old Porsches and stuff like that in a corner it's just around and around she goes but uh, it was sweet. All right, it was short. It was good. Just really testing it out. Our first real ride of the season for 2020. I hope everybody had a good time. I laid down and faded in and out until the ball dropped, and then I dropped. I was gone. Yo, know, getting old. Er, I was old a long time ago. <laughs> but uh, that was good. Hope everybody uh, had a good one. I'm going to start mine out. I got a lot of information from uh, some of the guys. Uh, KJ, Kevin Faust sent me some information about some shows coming up pretty soon. And uh, we're getting ready, buddy. I'm going to go out there to Kevin someday and take a tour of his shop. See how things are. See how the geniuses work. <laughs> Not us old slap mechanics like me, but geniuses. Because the man is absolutely a mechanical genius. Machinist, he can make some stuff. All right, guys, I appreciate you sharing this time with me. I think it's going to work. I'll get some straps. I might put a bed in it. I don't know if I'll put a sheet of plywood down or not because it really doesn't need it. And I'm going to get in here and set down. You know I love that sound. You can laugh all you want. <laughs> See ya. Damn, that was annoying.